Resolution of walled off pancreatic necrosis by EUS guided drainage when using a fully covered through the scope self expandable metallic stent in a single procedure. My name is Pyle Saxena and I'm an advanced therapeutic endoscopy fellow at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Walled off pancreatic necrosis or WAPN is a term that is used to describe an encapsulated collection of fluid and solid debris that usually develops greater than four weeks after an episode of acute necrotizing pancreatitis. Historically, WAPN was managed by surgical debridement, but is associated with high morbidity and mortality rates of up to 55 and 34 percent respectively. Less invasive methods such as imaging guided percutaneous drainage techniques were developed However, they require an indwelling catheter and need for repeat interventions for catheter upsizing. Percutaneous drainage is also associated with many complications, including catheter occlusion, secondary infections, and fistulae formation. Over time, endoscopic drainage with plastic stents placed across cyst enterostomy emerged as an effective, non-surgical treatment for WAPN. Outcomes of transluminal drainage are comparable to those of surgery in the management of pseudocysts, However, the success rates with plastic stents in the management of WAPNs is much lower due to the presence of necrotic solid debris. Therefore, hybrid techniques combining endoscopic and percutaneous approaches were subsequently developed to allow for additional irrigation to assist with drainage. Direct endoscopic necrosectomy is also another minimally invasive technique for performing debridement of the cyst cavity with high success rates of up to 91%. However, a median of five procedures is required in addition to lengthy hospital stays of up to 21 days. So, in order to overcome the need for repeat interventions and extended hospital admissions, we developed a new platform to manage WAPNs using a large bore fully covered through the scope self-expandable metallic stent. We report our series of five patients with WAPN of mean diameter of 12.3 centimetres. Two of these patients had between 76 to 100% solid debris within the WAPN as measured by CT scan and MRI. In all of our patients, we performed an EUS guided cyst gastrostomy followed by placement of a through the scope, fully covered self expandable metallic stent. The stent measures 18 mm by 60 mm with a 26 mm diameter flange which helps prevent migration. Additionally, we also deployed a double pigtail stent within the metal stent to prevent migration. All antacid medications were ceased and the patients were allowed to resume a full diet to aid in liquefaction necrosis of the solid debris. Clinical success was achieved in 100% of our patients. Three patients had resolution at six to eight week imaging and one patient had resolution at 10 week imaging. One of our patients initially achieved only partial resolution due to the stent being in direct contact with the posterior wall of the WAPN, which in turn prevented egress of the cyst contents. Therefore, we endoscopically repositioned the stent using forceps and resolution occurred on follow-up scan at 12 weeks. The median number of procedures in our series was one and the median length of hospital stay was only one day. The mechanism of success is due to the large diameter of the stent which permits continuous influx of gastric contents and acid into the cyst cavity, allowing for liquefaction necrosis of the cyst contents. The wide bore lumen of the stent also facilitates egress of the cyst contents. However, as seen in one of our cases, the stent can abut the posterior wall due to its long length of six centimetres. Therefore, a shorter stent would in fact avoid buckling as the cyst cavity shrinks. In conclusion, we have demonstrated a new platform for the endoscopic treatment of WAPNs which can be achieved with a single procedure, thereby avoiding the need for multiple procedures, percutaneous drainage or lengthy hospital stays. Larger prospective multi-centre studies are needed to validate the efficacy and safety of our proposed technique for the management of walled-off pancreatic necrosis.